All right, welcome. I am Deans. Um, so, as you can see, I'm doing some more work. But if you don't want to listen to me talk, then up in the right hand corner, I think it's the right hand corner, maybe it's the left. Either way, there will be a spot that you can go and opt to go and watch a video that is this exact same one, except it's without the um, without the voiceover. So. You won't get to see my my pretty face and you won't get to hear my voice <laughs> but that's fine it you don't have to hear me or see me you could just enjoy the art for what it is um so as you can tell i'm not doing a video where i am reading a scary story this is because my scary stories are over well at least the halloween ones are over for the year and those will come again in October of next year but I will be doing stories for Christmas and they will be on the spookier side but they will all be Christmas related so I do hope you enjoy those when those come up so those will all be throughout the entire month of December so be sure to come and listen and enjoy those if you are here for the stories. <laughs> if you're not, there is always the non-voiceover versions in which that I do for everyone who may enjoy those more. Um, but uh, I also am on Twitch and I stream from Monday to Thursday. You can now find my new time as 7 p.m. Eastern time because it's changing, so I'm not going to be streaming at 6 anymore. So for now, that's that's going to be my time. And I will start to also stream Minecraft, because I've finally got that. It took about two months for me to finally get my old account, because I had the account set up for when it was Minecraft, and it was before Mojang got everything set up for, you know, migrating the account in Minecraft like super blew up like I got Minecraft back when it was in beta <laughs> and then I didn't have a computer for a few years so I wasn't able to change everything over and I forgot my username at the time so I had to have uh, Mojang migrate my account for me which took a while because they were backed up because they had so many people contacting them. So it took two months for that, or pretty close to it at least. But now that I have that all set up, which I am so happy for, thank you. I know it took a while, but still I'm so happy that I was able to get my original account back. Uh, I, I am now able to go and stream Minecraft, which I will do and my streaming for Minecraft will be um it'll be me editing uh like villages or you know building houses or you know things like that i'm more of a creative builder type of person when it comes down to minecraft i don't really play through the <laughs> the events and things like that so i, I don't know if you guys are going to be interested in that as much but you, you guys should at least check out, you know, my art streams if that's what you would much rather want. And so I will probably do art streams like twice a week, stream Minecraft once a week, and then another time a week I will just talk, answer questions, and all of that. So when I do a, you know, just a talking video where like I'll answer some questions and everything, I'll probably, you know, specifically highlight certain questions and certain answers from each video. And then I will have a category and each one, each question and each answer will have its own little mini highlight for you guys. So you can go and find those. Uh, so there will probably be a folder for like personal questions and personal answers and then things for like how I do certain things and, you know, stuff like that. So it'll be very organized. I, I want it to be as organized as possible, but I, back to this video uh, and the things that have to do with this video anyways, uh, I'm probably going to start a whole series on YouTube 
where I'm going to have like animals or pets turn into creatures. And so that will be a whole thing that I'll be doing. And I hope you all enjoy it because I think it'll be a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun doing all of this. So I, I hope that you guys find it fun too. Um, but yeah, no, uh, feel free to, you know, check out those videos. Also, if you're new to this channel and you haven't actually checked out any of my other videos, you should check out the stories that I did. Uh, so those are actually stories that I did throughout all of October for Halloween. And I plan to do more or something kind of similar for Christmas. So like, I'll probably be doing like stories for like Krampus and other holiday type things that are a little bit on maybe on the spookier side. So <laughs> keep things to a spooky level here. Have things not be entirely traditional, I guess. So I also do take requests for stories. Um, if you go to my Twitch page, you'll actually find my Discord server. So like you can go there and, uh, you know, send links of stories maybe that you would like to hear. And I will be more than happy to read through them first. And if they are appropriate, I will read them out loud. And <laughs> if I get enough stories that you guys want me to read, I'll just do reading a whole series of just reading things for you guys on YouTube as well. And so depending on what you guys want as well, like, just let me know because I would like to know what I'd like to hear. Um, but I also enjoy entertaining. So I think that's a lot of fun. Uh, I also might do a small series, like once a month or something like that, about how I do my editing for like my avatar. So like this hairstyle, I can probably show you how I did it. I'm not entirely happy with it, so it'll probably be updated Oops. and fixed. So this is the first half updo I've done. And, uh, yeah. So. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. So, um, what was I talking about? I don't remember now. Oh my. Uh, anyways, I remember I was talking about a bunch of stuff that had to do with, um, Christmas stories and things like that. I've actually said this exact same thing like five times at this point because I <laughs> I've been trying to record my avatar like five different times so it's it's taken a while <laughs> I know you guys wouldn't actually know that but I actually had to stop the last video because uh, my boyfriend came upstairs and he he scared me so <laughs> This, this video is probably going to have a slight little jump in it, so that's that's why. So please, please ignore it. Um, next time, I'm going to try and uh, make this video a little bit more smooth. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm probably also going to go and fix this owl because I think his pupils are off and I didn't realize it until after I finished coloring the eyes. So that is, that might end up starting its own series because there's a bunch of like works that I've done that need editing and I haven't gotten to it yet. So what I might do is I might go and make a video at some point and show all of the work that I need to do that needs some amount of editing. Like some of it's not gonna be like a ton, so I can probably do a few different projects in one video, depending on how extensive the rework has to be. So some things might need more rework and might take up an entire video, while, while others might take less. Uh, but that is something that I was thinking about doing. Uh, not sure if I will, but we will see if I do or not. It is definitely an idea, um, 
but yeah, no. I'm actually going to start using a vector layer on this owl at some point, and let me tell you, do not color vector layers. Oh no, don't do it, because you will have so many points, you won't know what to do with them. Trust me, I tried. It was not a pretty sight. I ended up deleting the layer and just going and doing it on a raster layer. So do your coloring on raster layers. And if you want to like do a color that has like this fine, like detail for color, then a vector layer should be fine, but don't do what I did. And it like, you didn't see it here, but it was just kind of a, a test thing that I did a little bit to see how color would work on a vector layer. And yeah, I advise not doing it. You get so many control points, it's just so messy, and you don't know what, don't know exactly which control point is which right away. And even then, it's it's kind of a nightmare. <laughs> just just trust me. You you can try, but you don't want to do it. So, uh, yeah. Now I I actually don't realize until after I do all of this for the eyes that I, I messed up. I made an oopsie. And that the, well, when you're looking at the image's left eye, but if you're the owl looking towards the camera, it would be the right eye. So regardless, is that that pupil there is a little too low for my liking. I, I would probably bring it up a bit. I just, I think it's a little too low. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, I think my favorite part about the eyes are actually when I do the color glow and color glows on eyes can, if you use a little bit, it can go such a long way and it can look really nice. So I end up doing that with like this yellowy orange, I think, and I think it looks really nice. So I would suggest that when you do eyes that you use a color glow on occasion. Uh, I know uh, in this program, which is Clip Studio, it's called, uh, it can be add glow or it can be dodge glow. I generally prefer dodge glow. I don't really notice that much of a difference between add glow or dodge glow, but maybe there is and I just don't see it. Uh, but on other programs, it might be called other things. Like, I think some are, it's called uh, luminosity. I'm not sure, don't, don't quote me on that. So if you you got another program and you're looking for a way to make a glow effect, uh, I would suggest going and looking it up for your specific program. But if you have um, Clip Studio like me, then you can just follow along with this. Uh, so, unfortunately, my uh, software, it, well, my uh, software that I use for screen capture does not really do justice to all of the windows that I use. So, unfortunately, I've had to cut out all of those windows because they just don't show up. So I need a new um, screen capture software. So if anybody knows one that I could probably use, feel free to comment. I'm open to suggestions on that. Um, if not, no worries, don't worry about it. Um, I will eventually find one either with your help or on my own. I just, I'll need to find one that works best for me, so. <laughs> I, I would like to do some tutorials for this uh, to help you guys with Clip Studio Paint. And also, I have a um, program on my phone that allows me to do um, captures, so I can actually do a tutorial on, um, on IBIS Paint, which I do also use. And IBIS Paint I use on um, my phone for art, and you can actually go and transfer your art from your tablet, your phone, 
whatever device that you have IVI to paint on over to Clip Studio. Unfortunately, I don't think you can transfer it back. Uh, if this, if you can, then I don't know how, and I'm sorry, I can't help you there. But if somebody does know, I would be happy to learn how you can go and transfer Clip Studio uh, art over to IVIS Paint X. But <laughs> I don't know how personally, so I can't help you. Um, but I will also probably do a small series at some point of um, how to do the textures for clothing and how to do hair textures and stuff like that. So uh, eventually I will do that which I think will be very helpful. I'll even upload some of the clothes that I make in Vroid for you guys on my DeviantArt. <laughs> That's where it'll be. So you guys can go and download them there. Uh, so as I make them on here, I will go and download them onto DeviantArt for you. And I will tell you whether it's, you know, a dress, a jacket, whatever, so you guys know what you need to have it on. Otherwise, if you put it on the wrong thing, it'll look kind of funky and it won't look quite right. <laughs> and I, I did this with a pair of shoes by accident, and I think they were high top shoes, and like the design was supposed to be for another type of shoe, and it just it looked really weird and it didn't look right. So, yeah. Got to be careful to make sure that you put your texture on the right article of clothing. <laughs> Otherwise, it just looks really weird and it doesn't look right at all. Um, so, yeah. Um, but there is that. Um, this is actually where you'll see where I'm working on the vector layer. And it's actually kind of a pain in the butt. So, well, at least getting the initial line down. And I actually use two vector layers. So I use one for one side, and then I use another for the other side of this, like, brow ridge here. So there is that. 